Well today I'm going to work on this thing. I picked this up recently and it's got some issues. These dials here, this first four, they work although they're feeling... This one feels quite nice. So is that one. This one feels really stiff as does this one. These ones don't move at all. So I'm going to pull it apart and look inside it and see what's going on. I've just got to figure out how to get it apart. It looks like it's probably been apart before. Yeah, we'll see if we go. I'm not sure it's original screw there, but anyway, it's a 433B decade resistor which goes 100k to 1 ohm in those decade steps. So you can do 1 meg at this end. Let's pull the thing apart. Let's have a look. I'm guessing these screws here. Oh man, that's doing all I go. These feet are all knackered as well. I need to do something about those. I don't know what yet. Something. Oh, these screws are not good. All right. Oh, very tight. Okay. Either that's been partially over tightened or maybe it haven't been undone. But I doubt it's the not been undone thing. It could be because it's aluminium and it's binding on the aluminium. 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 Yeah, okay. Um, it's got some staining in there. Not sure if it's glue, it might be glue. It's also welded, so I don't know. It's got weld spots in there too. Not sure. Might be glue. Might be intentional. Well, let's have a close look at this and the one ohm section here, a lot of the windings look discoloured. And there's also a crack through the holder. So that formula is wrapped around, you see a big crack through it, and you can probably see a discoloration on those wires. So that's probably a sign of being a bit stressed. And the same that side there, you can see a discoloration, some of those is quite bad. Now, it may just mean it's got hot, but it's not actually broken or damaged, apart from that. This one here is looking very interesting compared to the others. Yeah, don't know. Maybe that's where that stuff's came from in the casing. It's stripped off this, maybe. I don't know. So I've got to figure out why these don't turn. Then I've got to figure out whether these resistors are any good or not. Hmm. So what I think I'm going to try is turn the back of the mechanism. I don't know if I can do it with this or not. We'll try it. Um, that knob there is like turning a little bit. But it's the shaft isn't turning, so there's obviously knobs trying to strip off the shaft, which we don't want. So I'm going to try turning it with this and see if we can get any movement out of the back end. This is going to have a lot more power over the knob. Wheel. There we go. I'll try the same here. Yep, there we go. They both moved. Very gummy, but that is turning now. That is very gummy, so I'm going to get in here and put some thin oil in there into each of those. Don't know if I need to do anything else. It's like a plastic shaft goes through. I'm not sure what would be involved about replacing this. But I'm hoping if I put some thin oil in there, it'll be enough to free it up. We've got them moving. What it's got here is got some grub screws here on this collar which then go to that shaft. What I'm thinking I can probably do is loosen those grub screws off. What I think that then might do is free that shaft so I can pull, basically pull that knob right out. It may not be gummy from this mechanism, it might be gummy from the shaft going through. So I might be able to do something with that to make that work better. Put a bit of uh, silicon or something in there just to lubricate the plastics. I just want to see if these resistors are bad. I think I'll um, pull it apart first and then we'll see where we go from there. Let's try this. Seems to be the right one. Yeah. Let's get a few turns. I'll take it right out. Same deal there. Now, yes, I was right. The shaft now pulls out. Great. It's just discolored. We're sitting on brass. So I'm going to give this a clean up. That's what the front of it looks like. 
Okay, well, it looks straightforward. The mechanism's still put in place, hasn't it fallen apart? So that must purely be retaining that part there, which is actually a bit of a shame because I was hoping I could use that to free up this bit. That's still fairly stiff, even without the shaft in there. I mean, it definitely doesn't feel nice in there. But that is turning okay, but it doesn't feel very nice. So I'm going to stick some silicone on this and put it back together. I mean, yeah, kind of thinking that because it is moving. I'm not sure if the plastic there is breaking or not. Anyway, I'll figure that out. So something I noticed was a little piece of plastic like this, which has dropped out. And I think it's actually supposed to be a stop. So I need to put this back in. Now I've already put some glue in here. So I've got to try and put it back in place. And hopefully it'll be alright. I believe it goes like this. Somehow. About like that. Yeah. Pretty sure it sits like this. But because of all this plastic being cracked in here, I think that's why the knob's coming loose. So I'll just basically just put a whole bunch of glue inside there and hopefully it'll work its way in there and make it all solid again. Hopefully. So I just removed the second. I was using the same technique. And this one's got that little washer missing, which is probably why it's all worn like this because it's been rubbing on the front panel. Because that little washer, which is supposed to be stopping it from rubbing on the front panel, isn't there. Yeah. Now I'm just trying to clean up this knob here, it's got a white paint pen which I'm just using to touch up where it's all been scraped off and it's just hopefully it will come up looking nice again by the time we're finished. Um, that's the plan anyway, we'll see how we go, but uh, it's going to look better isn't it? It has to look better than it did. Yeah, certainly a lot more readable. I'll carry on doing this. Alright, let's lubricate the shaft and put it back together. I've done a lot of painting on there, maybe with that. So it's just uh, a little bit of this on it. Don't need it down that end. So I sprayed some WD-40 in all of these, all these mechanisms to try and help them free up, which I think probably helped. And I was going to put a little bit of this machine oil in as well, because this stuff sticks around. It's actually meant for this sort of thing, so what I'm hoping is that it will work its way in as well. long term be better hopefully that works in I'll leave this one as long as I can because that glue's going off but this one at least moves now these still feel much nicer. The fact that this one's got that scraping effect, just like this one does, makes you wonder if those have also got those spacers missing. So I'm going to put them all apart and lubricate them all anyway. I'm going to pull this one apart, which I was worried about, but there's no nope, spacers in there, so it's not missing. So anyway, I'll do the same thing on this one. Clean this up with a bit of paint pen, just to restore it. Should be fine. All right, so those back together. I haven't put it back in the casing yet, obviously. Multimeter's hooked up. Let's see what we get with these resistors down here. See if they're intact or not. So these should be one ohm steps. Let's relative that out. Let's take that equation out of it. Let's see what we go. One ohm. Yep, it's there. This is looking promising. 
so that looks like it did get hot it looks like it's still not too far off at the very least so a couple of counts out I'm not too surprised by so that's fine okay that is at least working next one 10 ohm steps brilliant all the steps are working so I'm happy about that the resistors are okay still that's good I know these ones work I'm not going to bore you with those ones I've already tested those before um, the main thing was freeing these ones up and getting these to work and uh, making sure those resistors are okay and they do seem to be um, this one is moving nicely now I stood away from the front panel very slightly done the same thing with this one it's moving still a bit I don't know tighter this one's looser, like I said, more use, maybe. Anyway, it's not too bad. I mean, it's a shame about the paint on these. But at least I've kind of got them back to where they used to be. You know, they're not too bad. I didn't do this one, did I? No, these two I couldn't get off. They're really tight. I loosened the grab screws. Those ones I didn't want to pull off. So I'm actually going to leave those alone rather than risking damaging something. I mean, this one's perfectly fine. This one's got some slight cracks in it. But I know that I can restore that if I need to using the paint pen, so I'm not too worried by this one. I mean, it would be nice to fix it up, but not that important. Um, so, yeah, it's working nicely. Happy with enough with that. Being in better condition would have been nice, but these things aren't cheap to get, unfortunately. Um, you have to sort of get what you can for the cheapest price you can sometimes, and you have to compromise a little bit sometimes. Anyway, it's working. I'm happy enough with that. So the rear panel here, there is original feet of well, basically gone. It's also dented just here. You can see it more on the inside, maybe. Some dent around that post, just there. You can kind of see it, maybe. So it's been banged or dropped or something. I'll certainly try and straighten this out. So I'll just cut one off, but obviously it flattens it because it's a rivet. So this little cutters actually work really well. They put up with quite a bit of abuse, to be honest. Just try and cut two directions, see if I can get it to stay rounder this time. Maybe. And these ones, oh, I'm not quite sure. These ones, these are knackered as well. Anyway, we'll get these out and uh, go from there. to see what I've got as far as feet for this thing. Right, I found some suitable feet. I've got some bolts and nuts, three millimeters. I'm not going to put washers on the inside. I mean, I could do, but these nuts will be okay for the holes. They're not too bad. Yeah, let me close it. So the actual hole size is big enough for the nuts. I think they'll be alright. I don't think I need to put washers on. I will put some Loctite on though to make sure they don't unscrew themselves because once they're in there they shouldn't have to come off again. It should be pretty straightforward. These are some quite nice bolts actually. These screws. You've got like a large top on them. Large flat. Which is perfect for doing these things because it stops the washer from getting squashed down too much. So, And they're a really good nice fit. So they will go in there like that. Easy enough. The height's just about perfect. Just higher. Yeah. So, excellent. I'll get this put together. Let's do the last one. This is obviously one that's going to go horribly wrong because it's always the last one. <laughs> and I'm recording a video. So, that's bound to be the one that goes wrong. And you can't really sit on doing it anyway. Yeah. Tweezers on that. And that drive would have been easier. Anyway, that's what we got. Okay. That's the feet on. Now we can put it back together.
Yeah, where those screws go. Do it somewhere. I'm going to clean the casing up as well, obviously. And they clean, get it all nice. Get it all nice to use. Now I did straighten the casing out, but it seems it's still a bit wobbly. It was, uh, which one was bent? Was it? I don't know which one it was, it was bent now. But uh, still got a bit of wobble going on there. So, yeah, no well. Well, there you go, it's all back together, cleaned up, as much as I'm going to bother. New feet on the bottom of everything, it's all done, it's all finished. So, it's good enough. But it still feels like it's wanting the jam. I don't know if it's an issue or not. So that's another resistor decay box for my collection. I've got a few of them now. Um, I've got, I think, one more coming, I think. I was kind of thinking of spares, you know how I like to have redundancy of things and have a spear, always have a spear. And uh, I wanted some decent high quality ones, which is what these are. These are, you know, general radio, so these are high quality. You know, good precision. I don't remember what the precision was. Um, it was pretty good. I don't know what it was now. I have to look it up maybe. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, so other videos to watch down below there. Subscribe over there if you're not already subscribed and the Patreon support link over there. If you want me to buy test gear like this to do repair videos about. Catch you later.